Hey, what's up, authors? Coach Sloth here. Hey, I'm just hanging out in the garage with my son Everett. Just taking a little break right now. He's got his freezy pop going on. Because it's hot here in Iowa today, close to 100 degrees. Yeah, it's hot, isn't it, buddy? So we we're uh, just out here working in the garage. And it uh, got me uh, thinking of some of the questions I've been getting recently and like, what, what should you wear? What kind of attire should you wear when you go to schools? And, and, uh, Number one, be kind of professional, dress appropriate, dress professional, but know what kind of time of year it is. When it's hot like this, to start the school year, and some of these schools don't have air conditioning, and it gets hot in the gym, in the auditorium, some of the places that, uh, in the classrooms, that you may do your presentation. So make sure you have a light shirt on. I like to wear these Under Armour shirts, and something that uh, kind of hides the sweat if you start sweating a lot, because there's been many a times when, whew, it's super hot in there. I'll just I'll almost be drenched off a, a towel or something with me because it's so hot in there. And to wipe the sweat off and try to keep it, your keep your shirt dry. It's the last thing you want is a whole bunch of sweat spots all over your shirt. So I like to always have at least a backup shirt or back, a couple backup shirts just in case you get run into conditions like that. So or in case sometimes you spill on it. I've done that before many a times. When I'm driving to, to school and I'll spill some coffee on it and I have to change my shirt and change my pants or whatever it is. So make sure you have a couple of different outfits, but definitely pro dress professional. I, I, what I wear, I kind of do the coach look. I have a nice Under Armour shirt, Under Armour, <laughs> kind of Under Armour guy, Under Armour pants, shoes to go with it. Maybe throw my whistle on there to make me official coach. And, uh, or you may want to go a different route if you have a character in your story. Maybe it's a cowboy, maybe it's a, uh, an animal or something like that you may want to dress the part you could dress up in a cowboy hat and boots and whole works and or uh, a different animal if you have a, a panda bear or something like that you can have a panda outfit so you know just have, have play with it have fun with it because the kids will definitely love that but uh yeah always look clean cut come nice come prepared uh always dress i tried you don't have to wear a suit and tie or anything but just dress, dress appropriate and uh look professional so all right, hope you're having a great rest of the day. Keep those questions coming. I've had a bunch of them. Feel free to call me. I know i got some phone calls as well and some emails. Just try to help you out. That's right, buddy. Should we get back to work? Yep, popsicle break's over. All right, back to work. So, hey, have a great rest of the day. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. All right, take care.